All right, here comes the last one, revenue questions. And uh, my dad's running on the treadmill making weird noises. I hope you can hear him. In any case, revenue is basically price times quantity. So for example, if I sell something for five bucks and I sell 10 of them, well, my revenue, I would have in my hand 50 bucks, five times 10, 50. So that makes sense, right? Now to set up, set up these equations, you wanna use this, you're gonna do the original price, and then you're gonna add the change in price. So if you increase the price, you add it. If you decrease the price, you subtract it. And then you have the original quantity, and then you put the change in quantity and an X. And again, if the, the quantity goes up, then you increase it, you add, if you print it goes down, you subtract it. So, yeah. Okay, so when the collector's edition of the Home Fund song, which you may or may not know the song, but it's a very famous song that I made, it's priced at $24, then 600 copies are sold. If service finds out that the price is increased by $3, so if I charge 27, then 20 sales are lost, or I'll sell 580. Find the price that will maximize the revenue. How much money will it bring in? So let's follow this. So it says uh, my revenue is equal to my original price, which was 24. something and then 600 that's my revenue right now 24 times 600 whatever that turns out to be but then it says hey if I increase the price so if I add 3 and I'll put an X I will lose 20 sales so I'm going to subtract 20 X why the X because the X will take care of all the other cases for example if I only add by one, I'll say, sorry, I only have three bucks, then 27, that means that x is equal to one. And x is equal to one here, I will lose 20. But let's say I increased the price by $1.50. So then that means that my x ends up being a half. And if I put a half here, well, half of 20 is 10, which means that if I increase by 1.5, I will only lose 10, uh, 10 sales. And the other way around too. If I increase this by $30, then my my X will be 10. And if my X is 10, that means I will lose 200 sales. So it, it adjusts for, for my actual revenue automatically. Okay, so are they asking us for max? Yes, they're looking for maxima, so I'm looking for the vertex. Now, I could I have two choices. I could expand this, put in the standard form, and complete the square. Or I could do, and I think I'm going to do this, Pretend that it equals zero to find the zeros. And I can get the zero from here just by looking at it. Three times what gives you 24? Three times minus eight. If you can't get that in your head, then just say 24 plus three x equals zero and isolate for it x and you'll get it. And in this case, well, 20 it should be something like 30, right? Two times three is six and zero and zero, yeah, 30. 30 will give me uh, the zeros. So now I just found the zeros. Now I need to find the axis of symmetry. Zeros, axis of symmetry is equal to adding the two together, so minus 8 plus 30 divided by 2. That's 22 divided by 2 is positive 11. That doesn't mean I'm raising the price by 11. I'm saying that x is equal to 11. So then 3 times 11 give me 33. So actually, I'm going to increase the price by $33, and I will lose 20 times 11, whatever that turns out to be. So now we did the zeros. Now I have the axis of symmetry, and what do I need left to do? Plug it in, and I believe that I have this done already from before. So when I plug it in, 24 plus 3 times 11, that's my x, right? Goes in there, and my x, I just plugged it in, and it figures out that it's going to be 57. And 600 minus 20 times 11 gives me 380. And therefore, the revenue is 21,660. Now, the reason I wrote these things down is because now we just have numbers, and many times we don't understand what they mean. So let's remember that that 57 is my price, that 380 is my quantity, and that big number at the end is my revenue, which is this what it's equal to. Very likely, I will be asking those questions. I'll say, okay, for the optimal, what is the optimal price? And then you had to answer that. You said, well, the price is 57. I said, okay, well, how many will you sell? Well, you will sell 380. Okay, how much money will you bring in? 
and then say, okay, it's 21,660, which comes from the revenue. And we are done with the word problems, so now let's just practice. <laughs>